Hey, what's up, guys? No! Here, and today I want to talk about something that's been me up lately. Like Fortnite! Like Fortnite! We like Fortnite! And it's something to do with the user named Looped Q. Hey, it's Looped Q back here with another episode, and today we're going to be spotting to Nate Kirk's video on me. Other creators such as Kaneko Kitten and myself. I will be skipping around the uh, video a lot because I want to make sure you know I get his points and so I can talk about the other people who you know express their opinion on why I made the video and what they think about it. The you know drama between Flamingo, Albert stuff, his girlfriend and his ex-girlfriend it's uh it's not really you know factual information and what I mean by that is that it's very he said she said and it's uh, it's not worth covering at all it's just like hey this was like experience I had with you hey no the experience was good and I don't think this was just a bad experience because she said she got PTSD from the relationship and if you don't know what PTSD is it's post-traumatic stress disorder and it's actually really serious bad things happen for you to get this not just bad things but horrible things happen for you to get this so I don't think it's just you know he said she said this was a bad relationship no if she's actually claiming she got PTSD it must have been such a serious cause for that I, I just don't really understand why the this person makes the content that he makes when it's it's there's no need for it really like if I could see any reason for the content existing other than for some views and money I guess I'd let it slide you yourself later in the video said I make some good videos once in a while so the purpose is for entertainment value and I get entertainment value out of making them because I enjoy making them otherwise I'll not be making them and for views and money you know I don't get that many views you know I don't get that much money really I haven't even got enough money to really buy three pizzas so in the end it's for entertainment value you yourself even think you got entertained by some of them so that's what it's for recently looped Q uploaded a video called Albert stuff you know flamingo drama with his girlfriend and within the first 30 seconds of the video going up he just admits that he's got nothing to add to the conversation. Hey, it's Loop Q back here with another episode, and today we're going to be talking about the Lana, Kirsten, and Albert situation, or Flamingo. So let's go and get it started. So basically what happened was, there was this whole drama situation between mainly Lana and Kirsten about Albert, and I'm going to go ahead and read all their tweets because I really don't have very much like a standing opinion on this because it's really conf- Let me replay that for you since obviously you didn't hear it very well, you know, maybe you had a little bit of earwax in your ear or something, but- I said, I don't really have much of a standing opinion. Saying, I really don't have much, does not say I don't have any. I just didn't have much of it. Later on the video, I did go into what I thought was true or not, which would be my opinion, obviously. That's what I added to the video, in case you were wondering. Confusing? Yes, it's, it's really confusing because it's a personal situation that literally just came out, and you're rushing for the video to get the views and ad revenue before any more information comes out that you could actually talk about. And you the reason I was, you know, kind of, you know, maybe rushing the video out which I was not trying to rush it out I was just you know trying to get it as a reasonable time because my fans obviously wanted it because I did a community poll and everybody wanted it I want to make sure I get it out at a reasonable time because I'm not gonna upload at 8 p.m. like you need reach because I want people to actually be able to see my video at a reasonable time making a video on the whole he said she said situation rather than you know facts and evidence escalating the situation further when it, it's just not needed obviously you may want to you know wait until the story actually comes out to report on the video however people wanted it i just wanted to give my opinion on it i was not trying to escalate the situation any further i just wanted to give my opinion out of it where everybody could see it because I, that's the reason i made a drama channel in the first place was to give my opinion on topics also you shouldn't just come to my channel expecting facts and all this evidence what you should come for is my opinion on drama topics because that's what i want you to come for my channel for however you could get some information from it but i would suggest going to the source and then coming to my video yeah. Having people go over to hate on each side. If some neckbeard or a little we play Fortnite kid wants to go and hate on them, they will hate on them no matter what I say, no matter what I see inside of my video. Because I have like 2,000 subscribers, I get about 100 views, so really if somebody actually wanted to go and hate on them, they would do it anyways. Because my opinion is probably not going to change theirs at all. And to be honest, the situation shouldn't have been public in the first place, it should have been talked in DMs between the three of them. But Flamingo's ex just went ahead and you know, did the challenge act of making it public so i'm not too sure why she did that exactly which then had flamingo respond and you know because he had to defend himself where he looked like a bad person there's nothing proving anything and you made a video on it but what exactly like what are you adding to it here exactly other than feeling the fire 
and causing a mess. If you actually watched my video or stopped playing Fortnite for 10 seconds, you would realize that I added my opinion to it and what I thought was true and what I thought was false. Thank you for making the tweet. No doubt that Loop Q also saw that tweet because it went, you know, it went through all of his friends and saw the tweet. They liked it as well and he still made his video but the situation's uh... Of course, you know, I'm anti-censorship. You can make a video on whatever you want to. However, I will call you out on it if you make a video on something bad because in the end you can still be criticized for it just like how I am. And to be honest, I'm going to make a video on what whatever I feel I want to make a video on. Yeah, I'm making this video so you know what you're messing up and just like just to, like stay out of people's business really like just drama that doesn't really involve you and you may be calling me a hypocrite because i do talk about drama that doesn't involve me but it's public drama that's escalated quite a bit and there's quite a lot to talk about and quite a lot of evidence i do have something to actually say about the situations and uh you know i give my takes on them bro genuinely that's a massive hypocrite no matter what you had you're still technically getting into drama that doesn't involve you or into people's business so don't tell me not to do it when you do the exact same thing you hypocrite and this one you just read screenshots and said oh i don't think that really happened I they asked you not to talk about it. In Albert's tweet, if you didn't even see mine, he did say the very first thing that he doesn't like drama. You can't just not make a video on someone just because they don't like drama. I mean, like, if I just check out your channel for two seconds about my Roblox video editor. Any case does not like drama. Check out Real Matt video. Real Matt does not like drama. Does that mean you're not going to upload on them? Of course not. Therefore, you wouldn't be uploading on anyone, really, because nobody likes drama. And, really, you could still upload on it. Like, there was a reason why your videos are and dislikes and i just don't really want you to keep going down this hole basically the reason my videos are getting disliked is because people like you with 140,000 subscribers come to a 2,000 subscriber channel and say boy so basically that's why because you guys are being rice gums anyways i'm gonna do whatever makes me happy thank you guys so much for watching please guys like and subscribe turn on notifications follow me on twitter and goodbye